目が合ったやつは皆殺しだ千本の雨か血の雨を降らせてやる。Hey everybody, Bam Collectibles here, back for another statue unboxing review for you. As you can see by this monstrous box behind me, we have the quarter scale Gara from Iron Kai Studio. Today we'll also be collaborating with a good friend of the channel, Primo Collectibles, as they will be showcasing one of my favorite female characters in the show, also by Iron Kai Studio. I want to encourage you to stick around to the end to get a quick preview of that, and we'll head right over there together. To go along with the giant box, we have this large base as well with all sorts of information the character, the studio, studio logo, scale. And so, if you notice also on the bottom, you'll see I have my round turntable today. Very important because once we get this statue together, it's going to be difficult to move it around because of the size and also just all the details are going to be packed in, specifically the needles. So, taking a close up look at everything, you will first notice there's tons of holes everywhere. I mean, it looks like a worker on his last day just came in with a drill bit and went to town on this thing. The truth is, all those holes are intentional for effect pieces later, and also these notches on the bottom are going to be holding more sand effects. And we'll get pretty close up real quick to see some of the texturing on the sand. It looks a little glossy just because it's close to my lights, but it does look normal and natural like sand in person. Thankfully, they didn't go with like the sandpaper texture feeling to it because that can be sort of rough if it's this large of a statue. As I said before, this statue includes multiple different nameplates that you can use. The first one that we're going to be seeing is what I believe to be the Japanese logo for Naruto on there. We can see that in English on the bottom right in blue, but in the main letters, I do believe that is Japanese.、Uh, so forgive me if I'm wrong for that. And then we have this secondary one with English, full English with Gara. We have the San Village symbol on that left side there, and this nice bronze lettering going on with some kunai going into the names. My personal go to nameplate is going to be this one because it resembles that of a headband. It also looks really balanced when you put it on the statue. I imagine it does say Gar on there. We have the Sand Village symbol on the left again. So I wanted to showcase every single one so you could take a look and see how it does look on there. Maybe if you do plan on getting this eventually, you can know for yourself. But here is the one that I'm going to go with. As expected, this statue is going to get bigger and better with this large giant sand shield piece that they included. This is going to be huge, tall, sitting upright. It's very difficult for me to hold this up to the camera, but there's the large notch and the steel rod at the bottom that's going to allow it to attach to the base. Again, I can't hold this up too long, it's just too huge. So we're going to get it on there. There are other smaller pieces that they did include, so we'll get a close up and slow things down as we install those. I apologize in advance. I actually had to go back twice to install this piece. So, when I got it in there, the notch cleared, but the steel rod didn't go fully in. So, I noticed it, went back and fixed it real quick. This is the scary piece you do not want to fall off. This one's similar to the last piece, just a lot smaller. It does connect with the steel rod and the notch there. If we look really close, I want to showcase there i s those vein type textures that are in there. I think it reminds me of that of like Shukaku and how he does show himself in Gara Sand as he uses it from time. There's that notch and the steel rod there. So we'll get this piece in. And the third separate piece is different in that it does attach itself with a magnet that you'll see on there. So that is a little bit different. It's a really strong magnet. And with where it sits, it kind of rests up against. Against the sand, so you're not really concerned with that. But again, we'll see some of the texturing, some of the veins in there, and all these freaking holes that we're going to be installing stuff into very soon. Putting all this together, it is incredible already how this diorama comes to life. You can just see how the sand resembles that as we saw it in the show. It's so perfect in how it's surrounding him, but also giving you room to appreciate the character with this small space where it is open. So, to start off, I wanted to take the magnetized piece off and look at it separately. So, all together, there is over 30 plus holes on this piece alone. So, we'll set it aside. Here is all of the needles, right? These send bone needles. If you recall in the tuning exams, they got rained down upon Gara and he blocked them all with the sand shields.、So、they included a small, medium, and large version of these needles. So, if you see here, this is what they look like. So, you can give a nice variety as you install them all throughout the statue. But 
without delay, let's jump on in and begin this process of installing these needles. I tried my best to expedite the process and do this as fast as possible. Um, I did want to kind of give you the experience of doing this in its entirety, right? This is actually a pretty painful thing to have to do. It took me almost an hour to get everything on there together, but it is so worth it once it all comes together. So as you can see here, looking really closely, this looks amazing, right? It looks accurate to the show. You can barely even tell all those holes were even there. And it's exactly like you imagine with all the staggering of the large, small, and medium needles. I'm gonna let you enjoy three different camera angles of installing them from a, a low, medium, and high standpoint. But I did wanna mention real quick, I said this in my last video, but I also wanna put it out there. I will be attending this year's New York Comic Con. As we draw closer to that date, I'll be putting some specific details out about maybe a place where we can meet up, hang out, take pictures, and just meet one another. That's one of the most exciting things about this hobby is to talk to other collectors or people who enjoy this hobby from a distance. So look forward to some more details in the future. And hey, let me know in the comments below if it's something that you will be attending this year. That's even more exciting to kind of get an idea for who's going to be there in advance. We are speeding through this 30 minutes of footage that I sped up for you, and we'll go ahead and take a look at the final product. I swear Iron Kai Studio deserves some kind of an award for how masterful this statue comes together. They made you work for it, but the payout and how worth it it is is right before your eyes. As if that wasn't perfect enough, let's talk about Gar, right? This is the definition of a perfect sculpt. The one thing I love most about quarter scale statues is that it allows you to really see things that you don't see in the show or on smaller statues. So we normally know this character in a 2D show, we can appreciate things, but we don't get to see the texturing of the cloth, the outfit, the leather, and to be able to hold this and see it in person is just next level cool. All those different buckles you see there. Now on the back, you'll notice there's that huge notch. Of course, that's gonna be supporting the sand gore that's gonna be installed afterwards, but we'll go through and see the shoulder, the skin texture, are perfect the way that the hands are folded also look nice sometimes with statues when somebody's folding their arms sometimes the hands and the arms can like merge together but you can see they're clearly separate and there's this headband sitting where it normally sits on the statue now looking at the head sculpt i already said it before guys this is just perfection the one thing about him in this moment in the show is this is one of the first times we experience somebody like killing just to kill right this is really menacing maniacal and it kind of just takes you back where you're just like wow this is not exactly a kid's show, right? And they really brought that to life with the emotion that they're representing in his face. So, not sure if I've said this before, Gara is within my top five favorite characters of the series. So really cool to get to see something this large and hold it in person. If somebody made a life-size version of Gara, I might be in trouble. But for now, quarter scale is where it's at. This is definitely probably the most perfect Gara statue I've ever seen and held and gonna add to my collection. But really cool to hold this with the size of it. It's actually relatively light too, for how big it is. Here is how it attaches to the back of his gourd. And also, I, I wanna mention that if you're putting this statue together at home, you definitely wanna put him in there before you add those three extra pieces or these sand effects that go on the outside, especially the needles. That's just the nature of how it's supposed to be put together. But for my review, I like it to be a journey and go through the process of building. I am gonna very gently remove these. My wife is actually holding this large piece in the background while I install Gara on there, and then we'll get all the pieces back on. Ah, uh, uh, how gorgeous is this? This is why I'm just in love with this statue and this scale is incredible. I love how his face is just so perfectly representing this position, but really cool to see how it brought this scene to life so well. All these needles are scattered everywhere and just his face right here, just enough to give you that maniacal sense as in the show. I'm just weeks away from sending out some cards to get graded, and this is gonna be one included in that. It's like it was made for the statue, but before we go on, I want you to hear a quick word from Ty at Primo. Hi, BAM Collectibles. I hope you are enjoying the showcase of Gara. I look forward to seeing you at Primo Collectibles channel for our next showcase, Hinata. I don't know about you, but I'm heading right over to Primo Collectibles to check that out. Be sure to subscribe as he does some of the hottest statue unboxings of the year. Thank you for joining me today. And as always, everybody, I'll see you in the next video. Do what you love and love what you do. Bam out.